Owning a car in the DMV is pretty much pointless. I'm about to tell you why in this video right now. But just know it is now 11 something right now and I have been trying to get to work since about nine o'clock this morning. It's been an epic fail. When it comes to owning a car in the DMV, it's pretty much almost pointless. And that's mainly because, yes, you could drive yourself to certain destinations, but when you get to these destinations, you'll find out really quickly that there's really never really any parking and i don't mean like never any parking in the sense of just not having any parking in the parking lots no i mean like the way these streets are designed out here they don't come with businesses don't come with parking lots i would say it's probably maybe one in every 10 businesses that actually have a parking lot dedicated just for their business most of the time you're not going to find a place to park what you're going to find is a bunch of parking garages everywhere and those parking garages are going to charge you like on average about 20 dollars just for a normal parking whether if you're trying to go shop somewhere or if you're trying to be there for the day or whatever you're going to pay to be able to use your car and we're not talking about gas i mean yeah you're going to need gas in your car but you're definitely going to pay just to use your car just to get somewhere and that's the issue i ran into today i was trying to drive to work knowing that I work downtown, knowing that I was gonna have to probably pay to get into a parking garage. But last time I did that, I paid like $23 just to park my car for like, what, four hours? You know, and then it almost feels like club parking just to go to work. So what do you do if you do want to be able to bring your car here and you do want to be able to drive everywhere because you worked hard and you bought your car and you want to kind of show it off whenever you drive it or you just like your car in general and you don't want to be doing transit. The first thing you got to keep in mind is that if you can move out here to the DMV area, then more than likely if you stay in like an apartment, then you're going to have to pay like an extra fee to be able to park your car in an apartment. And from what I understand, it's about two to three hundred dollars a month on top of the rent that you already are paying. And so I just think it's not fair in general to have to not only pay rent, but now you have to pay an extra two or three hundred dollars a month in order to be able to park your car so you can use it whenever you need to use it. That's crazy. Which is another reason why the cost of living in the DMV is so high. Okay, so another thing that you could do is you can buy a house which will give you your own driveway and garage so you don't have to worry about parking but the way the housing market is set up out here in the dmv it's pretty crazy right now everyone i know who either bought a house or is talking or about to buy a house are all saying the same thing that the interest rates are pretty ridiculous so if you want to run that race have at it but that's also another option if you want to be able to have your car Now that I'm getting off of the actual metro, as you guys can probably see, I don't know if I caught that on camera, but that's what you usually find out here is the fact that the transportation is so trash, some people can't afford it. So you find them jumping the actual gate to just be able to use the metro because you can't use the car out here. Because once again, there are no like really parking situations that are in favorable downtown. And there's a lot of cops out here right now. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So, yeah, with that said, I'm, uh, all in all, what I've been trying to say to everyone is that having a car in the DMV can be convenient, but also inconvenient at the same time because there's just no parking. Uh, not to mention the traffic during rush hour is just ridiculously crazy. Just getting out or in the city when everybody else is trying to get out or in the city, there's only like, a handful of ways to actually do that so especially when you're crossing bridges that's when the majority of the like the jams kind of start so keep that in mind if you plan on moving out here and you want to bring your car then you're going to be dealing with this no parking street parking gets take up taken up very quickly it's just a whole mess but you know, if you want to deal with it or if you'd rather get a house or if you don't mind paying for extra parking under your apartment or parking garages, then hey, kudos to you. But I'm about to go to work because I'm just now getting here and it's like 12 o'clock. All right, peace.